What is good, homies? This is Chris from the Small Hat Group, <laughs> joined today by Small Hat Nick, off screen. Woo! Small Hat Manny. Yo. And Small Hat Laura. Hi. Hi. Indeed. Uh, we are reviewing some cards. This is the first time we're reviewing them using the actual, I guess, set. in person set. So, that's exciting. Absolutely. That's that's very poggers. Yes. Please don't say that again. That's very poggers. Is that an actual thing? Why can't we not say it? You do realize Peepo's full name is Peepo Poggers, right? Yeah. Get yeah. out. <laughs> that is his legal name. That is his legal name. That's his, that's his Christian name. Yeah, we merely call him Peppo because it just it's sounds short better. Cute. Yeah. It's an adorable little name. But I, I have no comment. We okay. will be reviewing some OPO7 cards, and this time we're not that far behind. It's only been like maybe three, four days. <laughs> we're very far behind. We're brother. very far behind. Well, some of these actually have been out for a... And that's not what matters. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this. Don't forget, we're starting from Lilith from what I posted. We already did Lilith. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, we did. This, this, this is such a So then from Dread. Right here. Because I posted it on we Friday. We go from we Gay Monkeys. I see, I see. We go from the Gay Monkeys. All right, we have Monkey D Dragon, red character, cost 8, 9,000 power, special, rev, army, rush. On play, give your leader or up to one of your characters up to two rest at dawn. Kind of dummy. This is red's best eight drop. Wait, are there even any other eight red drops? That have rush? No. No, no, no. I mean in general. Uh, I feel like there's a vanilla 8, 10 shit. Well, vanillas aren't somewhere. real characters. Yeah, they are. A vanilla is like... Lightbeard played, uh, played the eight drop. What eight drop? Ben Beckham, right? He's, oh, no, no, he's a seven. seven. It's a seven. And six, no, but they play thatch. a six drop 8K. They play thatch. Thatch, thatch is a six. Is six eight. Eight. No, that's what thatch I mean. That's what they play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't think there's another eight drop character besides like eight drop shanks. Yeah. Yeah, that's. So actually, this is, this is uh, by default, the best red eight drop character. By default? Yeah. <laughs> that's I say. Because <laughs> it's the only one? Yeah, it's literally. You're right. I, I this card, so. I think, is so good, actually. But you know what? He, that means he's also the worst one. If he's the only one. Oh, fuck. You got me there. Well, that's not true, because there is also a call Shanks. I was saying there's 810 vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this card's really good. I do also like that he's clearly meant to synergize with the leader. With the leader. Yeah. So where on you 10 get dawn. Three extra dawn. Oh, yeah. On 10 dawn, you can drop this guy on eight. You can uh, you take two from him, attach it to your leader. Your leader is, what, seven? You swing yeah. for seven, and then the leader moves the two from himself back onto the dragon. And then from there, you swing. So you do a seven and then an 11K swing. Or if you were doing, like I mentioned before, you're on 10 dawn. Your leader yeah. could swing nine, and then he could swing 11 after. Yep. Yeah, it's gross. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good. I don't know how good I expect a dragon to be as a leader. I mean, it's yeah, a mono-red five-life leader. Because it's also rev army too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, but Red Army's I don't getting, love it. Yeah, but Red Army's getting a bunch of support. So, but, oh, but Chris, but like, hear me out. You like Red Luffy. I love Red Luffy, but the, Red Luffy plays on curve. He does not. Yeah, but the thing is, but the thing is, like, Dragon is just Red Luffy level two. Would He's, you play Luffy if he had a, if he, if he, if he went up one level? They're different, though. They're different because Red Luffy, Red Luffy let you drop characters on curve. If you play Dragon, you're playing down to Dawn. Because you have to keep two down open for attachment and even use the leader ability. So you're basically all the characters you're playing are characters that would have been strong a turn previous. Mm, I guess so. That's that's my gripe. I don't know if it's like a deal breaker or not since Red, outside of Luffy, has usually not ever played on curve anyway. They've always that's fair. played Lord of the Ground. So if that's relevant, then then I guess whatever. But I do I like Luffy because he was the only Red leader that did play on curve. That was, that was that was it. He played different than any other red leader. I mean, this card's not leader locked. It's a very generically good red card. Like, if Zoro... Like, we're seeing Zoro do tops and stuff. I could see Zoro playing this card as a high end. Because it still turns Zoro leader on. And then... He yeah, has, it's true, actually. He's a 10k yep. rusher on top of that. Yeah. yeah he's like a good card. Good it's card. Very good card. Are we doing ratings or are we just... Uh... No. No, we don't have time. Bo All right, run it through. <laughs> Boa Hancock. Blue character. Cost 6. 8,000 power. Special. 7 wards of the sea. Kuja Pirates. On play, up to one of your opponent's characters, other than Monkey D. Luffy, cannot attack until the end of their next turn. Then place up to one, one or less character on the bottom of its owner's deck. This card's ass. Card is awful. It's... <sighs> you know what sucks? This is the Mango Rare. It is? This yeah. is the... Oh. This is the Chase card. Yeah. And it's... And the Ultra card is beautiful. Don't get me it wrong. It is. It is. But the crazy part is that, Love like, it. at Shit. least every other Mango Rare we've had has been, was, playable. Has been playable. Yeah. This one, you're Shanks getting, and, and, and they knew it. They knew it too. We don't even have to waste a good slot on the, on the Mango Rare for this card. 
We just make a boa. It's boa. It's boa, Actually, yeah. I would say Soga King, the Chopper, and this are three unplayable manga rares. Soga King was playable. Soga King's all play. The only thing that I have to say about it is that her boobs are lob lopsided. They are! Am I the only one noticing The this? one further away is bigger. Well, that's why we call her bigger, uh, Biggie Smalls. That's not what we call her. <laughs> God, literally, you know this card's bad when the best thing she has going for her is her stat line. Her leader ability stops your opponent from doing an attack, but that also means so one, she doesn't actually interact with board in any significant way. There's no removal. It's a one or less, the bottom of deck. She oh, bottoms a one. She doesn't actually do anything to the opponent's board as far as her stop attack goes, and because they can't attack with it, they don't even turn sideways, so they don't become vulnerable like to be beat over or anything. This card's really bad. People in the Blurple Crop channel of the Discord, our one person was coping on this card. Too. I remember. This that. is the problem I have with this card is that this is the character card to the leader. Yeah. I would figure the way I view a lot of these character cards that are supposed to be the, 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 the support to the leader is that this card either one needs to make it that the leader effect is either free or plus one when it happens or it needs to be a better version of the leader effect like for example like gecko moria yeah gecko revives bodies but the only reason why you can't do the eight drop is because one because he has too much dawn and you can't do both he does what you do but twice yeah. literally you know it's things like that enables the eight drop dragon we just looked at and yeah, exactly leader. yeah exactly it, like 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 the character card of the leader that it directly supports i feel either needs to guarantee the leader effect to go off or be an amplified version yeah. of the leader effect she literally does this is a card dawns. that is like oh you're supposed to bounce something i'm spending six dawn on you and in in mono blue which doesn't have anything that lowers in cost as of this moment so you're literally only bouncing one cost cards maybe in black blue like Zakazuki, that card may see play. No. Possibly. Like, like, like I'm just throwing it out there into the void. Not At me. least there it makes more sense than in, in its own color. Yeah, it's crazy. How do you print a character that shares a name with a leader and they don't synergize with themselves? Like, I mean, they technically The would. most I could think of with this character is, before we even had a searcher revealed, I said that they would get a searcher. That's not a crazy prediction to make. But I predicted you play like a one cost searcher to grab this card, and then you would play this card, bottom deck your searcher, and draw off your leader. Is that's that's the most of an interaction I can think of. Yep. Yeah. So she basically, because even with that, she basically that card she becomes like on play, draw one, stop an attack, and even that is really underwhelming for six dawn. That's very it's like when your best highlight is the fact that you are a six eight. I'd rather just play vanilla with counter. Yeah. And I'm not playing a vanilla with counter either, so I'm just not playing this card. But you know what? It doesn't matter though because everyone's gonna want the alternate arts, and everyone's gonna want the manga rare. True. Sure. Yeah. Because that alternate art is too goddamn good. That's how I feel about the chopper from Extra Booster 1. Is It's literally just there as a chase for the art. It, it's a useless card. Yeah. Next, we have Monkey D. Loopy. Yellow character. Cost 5, 6,000 power. Strike, 4 emperors, egg head, straw hat. Holy shit. I did not realize he's a 4 emperor card. He's got so much going on. <laughs> Activate main. You may place this character in your trash. If your life is 2 or less, K up to one of your opponent's cost 4 or less characters. Then draw one card. Trigger KO up to one of your opponent's cost four or less characters. I like this card. This card is actually really good. I, I think like this card's card. really good, I mean, too. considering Akehead just plays him on board for one dawn or puts him into life for the trigger for one dawn, it's kind of a nasty card. Yeah, literally Akehead does this card is removal as you need it. Or if he ever, if you do just put him on board, he can beat over something. Small Hat Brandon said a previous video, you could use him to beat over something, then trash him, and then pop, pop something thing. else. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. He, he He's literally a plus two. He's a plus two by existing. He's really good. He's because because even if you swing for life, your opponent discards one card. Like like let's say he goes one, they have to discard a two K. Yeah. Second, um, he's going to gonna pop a four a four cost card. Yeah. Whatever's on the board, then he's going to draw one. By existing, yep. he went plus three. There is one interaction that this card has that I'm not sure if uh, anyone's really really thought about. What? Uh... This leader is coming out alongside some other yellow cards that really escalate, like, Enel's dominance, just how good that leader we assume he's going to be. Yeah. He got a new card that cheats out his Enel from the trash for four calls. Oh, yeah, this oh, my Luffy God. This turns off that leader ability, or turns off that character ability. Oh, yeah, because you control Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Vegapunk is one of the few people that can throw Luffy on the board at whim, or at will, and then just deal with the Enel's, and they become yep. Vanillas, actually. They're just rushers. Yeah. yeah, seven seven rushers. Yeah, four seven rushers. Oh, for some reason. For some reason. 
Uh, next we have Portia, purple character, cost three, five thousand power, wisdom, foxy pirates. On play, dawn minus one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. You may add up to one card with the type foxy pirates to hand. Place the remainder on the bottom of your deck in any order you like. Then you may play up to one 4,000 power or lower purple character from hand. They have a searcher that plays. This card's good. This it's card's insane. This card's good. amazing. And the card that you play is not limited to Foxy Pirates. It's gas. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Holy it shit. It Foxy, but it plays, but it plays a 4,000. Oh my god. It plays any 4,000 or less power. That's really good. It's, I already thought this card was really good because it was a 3-5 that played Onigashima, but... Yeah. Holy shit. Hard it's better. even better than I thought. It searches the Onigashima 2 played on board. Yes. It's gas. Next, we have Stussy. This character has the sexiest alt art of OPO 8? It's 7? Me. What seven. is this? OPO 7. Okay. Her alt art is so fucking good, man. Like, she has garter belts and everything. You haven't on. seen it yet? I haven't seen it. We'll have to find Stussy, it. What it's. Is well, this I'll, I'll look for it. Okay, I was just saying, because this is important enough that we'll look for it. But we have black character, cost 9, 9,000 power, CP 0, on play. You may place up to one of your characters into the trash, KO up to one of your opponent's characters. It literally KOs anything for one card. Literally. Oh, anything. Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Oh, it yeah, just pops wild. anything. Literally, in, is it, is it Bob, in Bob Lucci, Bobbert Lucci, you can go ahead, play this card. You can play a card to search her out, play her, pop your searcher, pop another thing on the board. Yep. Oh my God. You know what's even crazier about this card? What? I there think. I'm going to pass the altar. That is Oh my Bro, god, it's so nutter butter. Good. It's and look at the garter strap. Oh wow. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That card's sexy. She's bringing out her stussy for real though. She's she throwing the stussy out. She She's really threw that stussy out. out. She's sticking out her stussy for the Rizzler. <laughs> the Rizzler. Sticking out small. I will say the but what I was getting back to is I, I would even play her like in Gecko because you don't even mind losing your bodies, they just come back. She's so good. I So you could literally like swing Perona, Perona. Um, you know, like uh, the character uh, from a swing, I mean, she's then she's play just... her, pop it next turn, you bring it back with Gecko to rip another card out. This card is just so Better me good, too, in the simplest way, also. That, like, I feel like any black because because she doesn't care about cost, so because up to this point, black's whole thing has been like we have to lower you and then we can pop you once you have you in range. Yeah. she skips all of that, so she is great in dual leaders, also. Like, this is like a card you could play, like, Garp, for example, you know, like, red does nothing for black. But it doesn't have to. It's still see. How does this? It's crazy how this. And she's not leader off. Is more fine. power crept to ten drop Kuzon? <laughs> she, she's significantly better than ten drop. It's not. And she costs less. That's the point. <laughs> and she costs less. And she's searchable. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, because ten drop Kuzon's former navy. You can't, don't have a way to search yeah. card. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's CP, so that means you have to play a Rob Lucci. You have to play Bobbert Lucci. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she's not leader lock the CP though. No, but no, no, no just the no, search, search, search. Only oh, the search. Yeah, 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 yeah. The search. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Next, we have Basil Hawkins, green it's character, call six, seven thousand power slash supernova Hawkins pirates. If your leader has supernova in its types, this character gains blocker once per turn. If this character were to be removed from play by one of your opponent's effects, you may instead rest one of your opponent's characters. The card's fucking amazing. This card's amazing. The card's I'm, broken. I'm so glad that he's a six cost, so that way Law can't just cheat him out. I found it so, so I was back in the fucking Purple Croc channel of the uh, server. Of course. I feel I feel that's the most active channel in uh, it, it's it is. Channel. It's by far <laughs> Bro, there was like a dialogue that was taking place that I could not wrap my head around. Someone was trying to argue that of the cards that we've re like reviewed so far, the best one was the Boa and that the Hawkins wasn't good. I, I didn't I couldn't fucking wrap my head around. Show I was yourself, arguing that was. in gross. favor of Hawkins for <laughs> a good yourself. while, and then eventually I got to the part where I was like, "This is a lost cause," and I was like, "I'm done with this conversation." I I can't imagine anyone that looks at a card that says, "Hey, if you were to remove me, I stay and tap your shit." Literally, how one of the arguments that they were making was, um, literally, you know, you don't get this card's ability unless your opponent enables it. Yes, yeah, so but you literally that means seven K blocker. That means they did all their swings first, and he gets to block. It liter that it literally, is literally, he's doing his job. Yeah, you have to respect him as a seven thousand blocker. That is so. He is literally, he is like a kid blocker that you can't just like bottom deck or whatever. Literally, you have to accept that less. either you are going to let him block for seven, and all it takes is a two K. That means blocking nine. So. He's blocking pretty much almost everything and anything for minimal investment. And if you do try to out him instead, he's resting something on the opponent's board with no restriction on cost or power or anything. And he still stays. 
He's, yes. So it doesn't even yes. matter. Like, oh my God. Yo, you can literally go Red Rock. He's like, rest your dude. I'm still here. Literally, and that, that's also it too, because it's like he forces the opponent to have two forms of removal to actually out him, which is going to be so expensive on their part. And realistically, that pretty much means they're never going to attempt to remove him because you have to pop him twice, bottom him twice or whatever. He's yeah. just he's he's just a 7k blocker. I mean, to your point that you're saying like, oh, well, people could just like, you know, like, you, I'll, I'll, like not have a board and then it's him. You're assuming that he's the only thing on the board. When he's played, there's other big things yes. that, yeah. that he's going to protect. So it's like, oh, well. And if you're playing him in the new Bonnie leader as well, one of your swings just makes everything else get tapped as well. Yeah. yeah. Bro, this card in Bonnie is actually... If you're playing Bonnie and a eight drop kid is hiding behind this, holy shit. Like literally that you're never dealing with that card. You are losing two of your attacks just attempting to try to take him out. Like this card is so good. Well, you can red rock the kid, but like still now you still have this. Oh, I was thinking as far as combat, but yeah, yeah. yeah. There, there goes, there just go that as well. But yeah, no, this is obviously a good card. I think it's crazy to think it's not, but all. Uh, yeah, we will move on to our next card. Uh, next, oh, that Stussy looks so good. That one. Yeah, sure. Stussy. Next, we have Blue Jam, a red character, cost four, 5,000 power. Goa Kingdom, Blue Jam Pirates. Counter 1,000, Dawn times fun. one. When attacking, up to one of your opponent's characters with 2,000. Wait, wait, wait. KO, oh, KO up to one of your opponent's characters with 2,000 power or less. This is worse, Robin. It's awful. Yeah. It sucks. We'll just move on. It's not even searchable. This is, this is terrible. It's on not. To the next what one. is Goa Kingdom? Go Kingdom is where, is is the where Luffy was uh, born. This is the dude that Ace and uh, Sabo. No, oh. Ace and Duran fight. When Sabo. Who the fuck is Duran? Dadan. Oh. Dan, yeah. the, the, pirate Dan, Dan. Down, <laughs> the pirate that tries to burn down. The pirate that tries to burn down the slums. Yeah. Oh. That's Bro, him. that shit is incredible. Oh. That's him. The rich don't want to look at the poor, so they make them move into the slums. Yeah. But then they don't want to look at the slums, so then they build a wall. But then they don't like knowing that the poor people live behind the wall, well, so they want to burn it up. Actually ridiculous. Uh, next we have Papag. Papag. Green character, cost two, zero power, 2k. While you have character Kami in play, this character gains blocker. Card. So we're looking- Card is not searchable by Kami, by the way. Not searchable by Kami because it's not a fishman pirate for whatever reason. It's animal type. It's an animal. I'm still gonna play. But it is a 2K, 2K conditional green. blocker. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I feel like this is a card you probably do still play just yeah. as a 2K. But if it ever does come up that he can be a blocker, that's nice. I guess. Because Kami's a searcher, so Kami's probably always gonna be on the board. But 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 hear me out. C Listen. Couldn't you just play a card to pop the Kami and then he loses blocker? Well, yeah, but that takes it's... us back to the same argument we always had with like Toki, for example. You know, because like if you took Odin or Yamato off the board, Kami was. Yeah, but the difference is they're four or five drop characters. Cammy's a one drop character. You don't have to lower anything. You just pop yeah. the damn well, thing. Well, that's why I say I think like 99% of the time. This no, card no, will but, be but, a but, 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 but that, that would be my argument. It would oh, be that yeah. because the Yamados are four drop, five drops, so that it's harder to deal with them by popping them than just this one drop searcher. I think it's probably, I don't know. I think it's going to be very matchup dependent because some you gonna say something, Laura? Yeah, I mean, I think that, like, I'm building Uta now, and I can see just the need for 2Ks in green. So, I like that character. I'm probably going to put him in a deck. He's a 2K. Building one deck? Uta. Uta. Um, yeah, it's a 2K at the end of the day. Again, it probably won't ever be a blocker, but if you ever do need one, if you're in a matchup where you can get away with that. For example, um, if you're playing against, like, purple, unless they have the poly, it's it's a blocker. Um, th with that being said, though, so don't know if he's his player or not. Nah. No, nah, he's, he's, like, he's not the worst blocker because he's a 2k counter. He only costs two. But it's the fact that his his condition is a one drop. But he's, he's a decent card. Yeah, he he could see play or not. I can see it going either way. Yeah. Next, we have Gloriosa, <laughs> Elder Neon. Blue character, cost one, power zero, wisdom. Amazon Lily counter 1,000 on play. Look at the top five cards from the top of your deck. Reveal up to one Amazon Lily or Kuja Pirates type character other than Gloriosa, Elder Nyon, and add it to your hand, then place the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order. It's a searcher. It says it's type a searcher card, for Boa. But yeah. Ooh, yeah. Sure. Yes. And uh I don't I It's a good searcher. It searches it's, it's out so, two categories. I just thought about something though. Literally we just saw a one drop zero not yet in the future. Uh, a one drop zero searcher. O Otama that search is on play and is a 2k counter. This is a one drop zero power and it's still not a 2k for the deck. That's absolutely absurd. Well, no, the trade-off there though is that this has utility because it searches two different types. Kind of like how with Pudding, for example, because she grabs Sanji, she grabs one less card. Oh. 
right so tama only searches one thing so she's a 2k i guess to make up for that even though realistically she should not be a 2k she should not be yeah uh that's a searcher there's really much more to be said about that yeah, so we'll it's a good on. card because it searches literally ito mimizu purple character cost three zero power wisdom foxy pirates counter 1000 activate main once per turn if your leader has the foxy pirates type and you do not have any other characters in play named ito mizu this card add up to one rusted dawn from your dawn deck it's, it's it is literally it's only onigashima. this card's yeah. bonkers it's oh. onigashima on a, on body. a body yep you can literally cheat this out with the with the, the searcher, searcher and then get the dawn back yes the fact he doesn't even like rest himself like onigashima or anything either so like you know just exists you don't have to fear the opponent running it over or swing but, but, but he's a body in case you need him to be yeah well, I think he's a body so that way you don't have to interact with the stage to get rid of their ramp. <laughs> True. Like, Black can out it, obviously. It's only a three drop, but... Yeah, to play a 3-5 searcher that plays this guy and then ramps it on... Because if you're holding this card, for example, you can even just plus one, add a card to hand, and then play this out of your hand. You know, it's the whole uh, Ohm Holy yeah. debacle or whatever. Mm -hmm. Obviously, really good card. Yeah. Something that Purple Crocodile should have gotten, but... True. Well, he did, though. No, he didn't. You just don't like it. It's it's well, not... It's, it's not a Purple Crocodile card. Stop it. <laughs> Next... It, it, Purple's in it and crocodiles in it. It's just not as much blue. No. Oh, wait, Bo it's literally only Foxy Pirates though. Which one's the Foxy Pirates leader? Foxy. Foxy. Oh. <laughs> Minus three dawn. Uh, make two things not stand up next turn. It's great. He's just a troll. I love him. Baccarat, red character. Like Cost three, four thousand power. Film and Grand Tesoro. Counter 1000. Blocker. On opponent's attack, once per turn, you may trash one card from your hand. Give up the one of your leader or characters plus 2000 power during this battle. Turns anything in your hand into a 2k counter. Yep. Take I don't like this card. I what? Card. I don't like this card. What? I'm not spending three Dawn on a blocker that could get removed and then I don't get anything out of it. That's still 3 4 blocker. I and it makes any Being... card in your hand a 2k counter. You get this card a zero, a zero counter card and now it counts as two. Bro, we've already seen previously an argument for a card that turned no counter cards into in the hand into a counter yeah, it was only one and, and we had the same three. debate back then i said the same thing back then and that card didn't see play but that card wasn't a blocker that was just a one drop that sat on board and did nothing this one at least is a blocker that can do something and it's 4k attack you can become a one uh for one for one investment it, it, um it, it's a 6k it's blocker but then it's not even a blocker at that point like oh, I was saying for one discard, it's a six K blocker. Yeah, for one discard, for one for one discard, it, I mean it's a six K blocker. Two for one dawn, it, it, it can go after leader, or it's just a blocker by itself, and it makes other cards two K. Bro, there's no way you convince me this card is bad. We will put a pin in this, and we will come back to this a pin two in months it. from now. And if this Bet. card is not seen play, if this card is not seen play. Then that's my VP. I get to take a card from your collection and rip it in half. No. Oh, no, absolutely not. That's <laughs> mo mainly my collection, first of all. I don't know. I mean, like, film. It's a red. 4K blocker. That already is an immediate turn off. Yeah, film film red. I, I see what you're saying. I do think it is good. <gasps> but I do also see what you're saying. Like, it's not the best. Literally, I can only think of one instance where I would even want to play a three-cost blocker in red. And that would be if I was cheating it out off of, like, Luffy. Hear me out. Or something. Hear me out. Exactly. You're 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 thinking as if it's just a red card, but this is a film card. You know what that means? Uh -huh. We get to play the red green film package together. Which means that we can go Brook into this, seven drop Luffy into Brook into this, and then our leader, of course, his time has finally come. No, it is and not it's red no. No, green it is not. Luffy. He, his time has come. I thought we you do the film package with the red film stuff. And then we pop already. off. Nah, yo, this is nah. it. This is yeah. the moment. Because literally, basically, this guy's never seen playing a mono red leader. Because no mono red leader is going to say, I'm not using three down this turn to put a blocker on the board. So exactly. that's you one play the reason. Brook. So then that means we now have to look, plays this. That means we now have to look at the dual leaders. There's only one good red green leader, and Flaw is not playing a fucking three cost body. He's hear me never out. playing okay, a three cost. You know what's another thing? Plays... Zoro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because Zoro does something immediately, and then he bounces it back to hand, and then he can cheat it back oh. out with Law Block. Okay, do okay, it again. Okay. Another thing you could do with the red green Luffy with the Law with the oh, package is is you can go swing with Nami, search, restand her, swing with Nami again, search. I just feel like we're not playing the same game. I don't know how you guys <laughs> honestly believe in OPO seven. We're playing three cost blockers. I love film cards. That shit makes though. no sense to me. I do wish it was green because if it was green, I'd play it in Uta. That's fair. Um, next we will move on to Trafalgar Law. Blue character, cost four, 4,000 power, slash seven wards of the sea, heart pirates, counter 2k. Hell yeah. Activate Finally. main, you may return this character to its owner's hand. If your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, they may play, uh, they place one card from hand on the bottom of their deck. Card's amazing. 
Yeah, it's great. Cards uh, are actually cracked. Seven Warlords finally got a second 2K that they I with am excited. It's a really good card. And I will probably go back to Blue Dolphy once these cards come out. I That's don't know if you do that. The, I would play it for fun. I would for fun, yeah. It It'd be your Blurple Crocodile. I See, see the thing is, the, the there's a card later that we're going to talk about that brings hope to my... That's valid. That, to, that brings hope to me. This is just a stepping stone to that card. I do like that. Well, it's a new 2k to recur off Gecko. It's a new body to cheat out off of Dopey. You swing for seven. This card comes out. It's assuming a 4K body, so it was like it could do something later. Assuming your opponent took the damage, you can then bounce that card and then make them drop a card. Yeah, assuming opponent takes damage, they gain a card. Then you put this guy back in your hand. You gain a 2k back to your hand, and you put your opponent back on having the same amount of cards they had before you did the swing. And if they do counter out of it, it's a 7k swing. So they dropped two cards. This then rips a third card. So, well, that, that, assuming the hand's cool. massive yeah. enough, That's I saying, guess. Assuming yeah. the hand's massive. Worst case scenario, you still bounce it back to the hand. You have to just bounce it to the yeah. counter in hand. So you essentially drew two in that turn. Yeah. yeah. Card's good. I like it a lot. Uh, next, we have Foxy, purple character, this cost seven, 7,000 power, Foxy Pirates. On opponent's turn, if your leader has the Foxy Pirates type, all your opponent's characters have minus 1,000 power. Activate main once per turn, add up to one Rest at Dawn from your Dawn deck. 7k Onigashima on legs that also minuses 1,000. Like King, except he does it on the turn that matters. Bro, no. I watched a game, uh, or I think it was last night. It was a Foxy Pirates versus Green Film Uta. And, bro, all of their bodies being four fives and three fives. They had to invest a dawn in all yeah. of them in order to connect with leader. It's fucking hilarious. And then they, he put a second one of these on board. Bro, because he put, it was bro, so you put a second over. one? <laughs> bro, I was I, I would be like, you got it, bro. Just, just <laughs> this card's nasty. I yeah. like it a lot. Because this card essentially is this card is basically the same thing, but better. So this is a better seven cost kid. Because kid would pump you 1k, so all the opponent took extra investment if they went to your leader. This card does the same exact thing, but even if they want to go for your board, they still need to invest the extra dawn to even attempt to do it. Yeah. And then if we drop a second one, it's and then you drop, Yeah, like, literally, that it's so gross. And then he's just ramping dawn on top of it. You play him on curve, he puts you on eight, next turn you're on ten. Like, you oh know my what God. it is? You know what, 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 what does make this better, to mm -hmm. what you're saying, is that is that because when the kid would be, like, swing, you know, give your leader an extra K, give them an extra K, you would pivot your plan to go after bodies. And you'd minus to do it. And, and you know, like you, you know, and you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll go after bodies because the bodies are five, this is seven. I can pivot. This just says there is no pivot plan. Yeah. There's no, oh, well, he's too big. I'm going to go after characters. No, everything drops. So you have to invest even go after my characters. Yeah. So everything except for the leader. The leader is still your normal 5k swing. Well, yeah, but. Literally, the fact that he doesn't minus the dawn, he ramps the dawn instead. That's already way more insane than kid. He's pumping, basically, he pumps everything on your board by 1k, essentially. So there's Dawn investment from the opponent. He's staying on the board. He's going to keep doing this every turn until he's answered. Yep. And he's 7K. So, like, he's relatively expensive to answer. Like, Sakazuki. 7, seven. Like, even, yeah, Sakazuki. It's going to have to put three cards minimum into this, assuming they don't have, like, Kuzan and stuck on board yep. or Ice Age or something. This is an amazing card. I think it's safe to say we could go ahead and call it there. Uh, just threw half an hour of cards at you. So we'll go ahead and wrap it up in part two. Uh, but, again, with that being said, until next time, we will see you guys. Later. See y'all. Oh, oh, I, it's I, so hard to sorry, I couldn't hear the piece. I'm just, just looking at the you camera. You need a piece louder next time so I can hear Peace it. Peace to camera. No, no, I mean with the, with the fingers. See, I hear that. I heard it that time.